Hi everybody, Ryan Picorni here. I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to share something with you here on this beautiful spring day that stemmed from a conversation that I had with a friend a few days ago and he was just sharing his passion and his passion happened to be golf. He was talking about all the times he's gone golf and how he used to go. Oh my lord, it was 50 something times a year. He went, or it might have been more than that. He went uh, every single weekend and, I, and he was just talking about the, the fun and the strategy and how it teaches him about himself and it teaches him about life. And he was just talking about one thing in particular that just really just boom, just put a light bulb in my head. And he was talking about a water hazard. And he was saying in a water hazard, what ends up happening is people start to get all psyched out. They get all freaked out about this, this water hazard. And what they do is instead of focusing on their goal, instead of focusing on the hole, they end up freaking out about this water hazard and they're focusing on the water hazard. So what happens? Well, they pull out their club and they hit the ball. What ends up happening? Well, they don't hit the green, they don't hit the rough, but they actually hit is the water. Why? Because that is what they were focusing on. That's what was in their mind. That was what was in their thoughts at the time. So because that's what they were in their thoughts, that's what they were focusing on, that's what they hit. And so I was just thinking about that and how that relates to you and I today and the marketing world and the business world is what are you focusing on? Are you focused on the negative? Then don't be surprised if that's what you get is the negative. Are you focusing on all the things that could go wrong and all the problems and all the things and obstacles that are in your way that you're going to have to uh, deal with? And if so, then you're going to psych yourself out and you're gonna end up finding that all you have is problems. But if you start focusing rather on the situation and the opportunity that you have and put in your mind the thing that you want, the goal that you want, the dream that I want, the lifestyle that I want, and you reach for that thing and that's what you're gonna end up getting because that's what you're focusing on. You know, when I first started playing golf, and I really don't play golf anymore, but, um, I want to get back into it. It's a lot of fun and there's a lot of lessons that can be learned from it. But my very first golfing experience was I was on a kind of a bachelor get together uh, party kind of thing, if you will, for my best friend. And I was, uh, uh, he took us out, he took all the wedding party out and it was my very first time. So I had zero expectations. I was just there to have a good time. I wasn't trying to do bad or good. I had zero expectations. I was just out there to have a good time. So I was focused on having fun. I was focused on enjoying myself. So when did it happen? Well, what ended up happening is I did have fun and I shot a pretty decent game considering it was my first time. And so I've played some since then, and I've always went back to that first time I played, and you know, and, and, and the times where I've just tried to be serious and tried to like, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta get a good score, I've gotta, you know, and I ended up focusing on it become more of a stressful thing, and I didn't end up doing so well. I didn't end up doing so well, so what was I doing? Well, I was focusing on the negative, I was focusing on, on the bad, and I was focused on what could happen in the bad as opposed to having fun and just getting out there and enjoying myself and getting out there and focusing on the goal, on the target, on the thing that I was supposed to be focusing on. And so the thing is, is what are you focused on in your life? Are you focused on money making activities? Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying what you're doing? And if not, you may want to consider something else because life's too short to be stressed all the time. Life's too short to worry about this and worry about that and not enjoy what you're doing. So I want to encourage you today to do something about it. That you can create the lifestyle that you want. You can do the things that you want to do in life. You can enjoy life. You can have a good time. You can enjoy what you do for business. You can enjoy what you do uh, for work. And I want to help you with that. So what I'm asking you to do is to give yourself this opportunity to at least look at what we're doing and how we're creating the lifestyle of freedom because that's what we all want, isn't it? We want freedom, freedom to be with our families, freedom to do what we want to do, freedom to go on that vacation, freedom maybe to support our kids 
in their dreams or to you know, do, do whatever it is that you want to do, to be involved in, in missions and, and reaching out and helping other people to make a difference in your world. Can't hardly do that if our own worlds are upside down. So I encourage you to click on the link in the description and to see what we're doing and go out there and find your lifestyle and go out there and make it happen and take these lessons that I've talked to you about with golf and let's see what we can do together. All right, let's go out there.